What's up everyone? Today we'll be talking about XL Pokemon. Are XL Pokemon required uh, for success in Ultra Premier Cup? Well, I'm just gonna give it to you straight. I don't think so. You know, there are some really, really good XL Pokemon. You have uh, XL Galvantula, XL Raichu, two of the, uh, both of them which I've used on uh, in my battles already. They've given me a lot of success. Uh, you also have XL Bombasnow, XL Skarmory, which are kind of common right now. And then also in the future you have XL uh, Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, you also have like Umbreon right now, but they're, they're really good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, they're really, really good Pokemon. Are they required for success? I don't think so. I think you can build a team without those Pokemon uh, and still have success. So, and I'm gonna show you that today uh, with uh, one of my old lines, actually, this is a line I created in, in Season 4, I think. Uh, it's Toxicroak, uh, Lapras and Empoleon. Uh, I already have a video of this team on my on my channel. I'll link it down uh, in the description if you're interested in seeing some old battles. Uh, this team is basically uh, your standard like A, B, B line. Uh, lead with Toxicroak. If you don't face a fighter or a grass type, you swap into Lepers or Empoleon, depending on the lead. Uh, you lure out there fighting or grass type, and then you uh, kill it with Toxicroak, and you bring in the other water uh, type to sweep, basically. That's the whole idea of this team. I really uh, like this line. Uh, it's like Lepers and Napoleon are very flexible Pokemon. Toxicroak as well has very unique top coverage, and they work, they pair to together quite nicely. So anyway, this this match, I let my Toxicroak into a, an Ampharos, which is exactly where you want to see the Ampharos. My backline doesn't want to see Ampharos, so Toxicroak uh, was able to, uh, to clean uh, the Ampharos up. And uh, now we have Empoleon versus Lapras, which is a pretty good situation for me. Uh, I can tank all of Lapras' moves. Everything is resisted. And my, my fast move is resisted by Lapras, but my charge move uh, is neutral and does a decent chunk. Um, I, I threw a Hydra right here because he still has a Pokemon in the back, which uh, I think resisted the drill pack. Yeah, it is, uh, or it's Charizard. Uh, I was, uh, I didn't want him to swap in uh, the Charizard into a Drill Pack because the Drill Pack would not have KO'd and the Hydro Cannon would have KO'd either the, the Charizard or uh, the Lapras so that was a safer play right? Drift Limb, horrible lead probably the hardest Toxicroak on, uh, answer out there uh, resist everything Toxicroak can throw at it so yeah, not a great lead swap into my Empoleon right here he brings in Swampert, uh, which is good uh, uh, Toxicroak also fares Swampert so what I'm thinking right here if I can burn some shields uh, I can probably uh, use Toxicroak and Lapras uh, to, to sweep right here. So I'm gonna burn another shield. I'm uh, expecting him to either no shield and farm me down, but I'm quite sure he can't farm me down. Like in this league, uh, fast moves don't do that much damage, so he has to has to throw right there, and that uh, brings my uh, Toxicroak in a pretty good spot. I'm just gonna farm it down right here. I can take a Hydro. I can definitely take a Hydro. Hopefully this is not an Earthquake, that'd be bad. But I can definitely take a Hydro. I just throw the Mud Bomb. I just want to get rid of this, this uh, Swampert. He swapped in his Swampert versus my Empoleon, uh, which means that he probably doesn't have a solid Lepers counter in the back. So Lepers with a Shield is gonna do some work here. I uh, decide to no shoot this move. It's an Icy Wind, so that was a really good call on my end. And Satoga is in the back. As I said, he swapped in his uh, Swampert into my Empoleon, and, and that just meant there was just a clear uh, a giveaway that 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 his his backline was very weak to uh, the water uh, the water types. At uh, this point, I just farm this down with Lapras, and I can Ice Beam the the Drift Blim for the win, or even Surf at this range. At this range, Surf would kill. I just shield this, even if it's an Icy Wind. That's fine. He doesn't get to an Icy Wind and. Uh, Shadow Ball, an opponent knows that in the conceits. All right, Gyarados leads very, very bad. Uh, pretty much hard counters. Uh, Toxic Croak uh, resists the fast moves and only really takes damage from uh, Sludge Bomb uh, whilst doing neutral damage with all, with pretty much all of his moves. Dragon Breath and Aqua Tail. Uh, so I swap in my Empoleon as a sacrificial swap. I let the Crunch go as uh, Empoleon is more of like a sacrificial uh, uh, swap and sponge. Uh, it brings in Muck, which is really good for me. I want to get shields down here. Dragon Breathers with a with the shield up are no fun. So if I can get uh, swap advantage or 
a shield at one or like shields down here that'd be great like if i can farm down this muck with my tox croak and then fire a sludge bomb uh on the gyarados with my uh, with my toxie that'd be that'd be great but he lets it go brings in a bombus though which is all right for me he can't really farm me down here can he i i think i get to the drill pack but no, this was a very good farm now by my opponent. Uh, it takes me out. He has so much energy on the Abomas Snow right there. Two weather balls from Shadow Wama uh, will definitely uh, uh, destroy my Toxicroak. I'm bringing my Lepris into the Gyarados uh, since he swapped out. I, uh, I, I just no shield this move. Uh, like, uh, this crunch will do a, a good chunk. But I'm more worried about, about the energy ball from the Abomasnow. And I know that this Gyarados can't uh, take me out. And uh, Abomasnow will have to throw an energy ball. I'm still a shield up. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll no shield this energy ball. I have a shield up. Uh, he, he expended like almost all of his energy right now. And that means he won't be able to get to the two weather balls required to kill my Toxicroak. And I just counter him down. That's a very, a very nice match. GG. All right, nice game. Togekiss lead, very bad. A good thing about uh, Togekiss though is that I have two monsters in the back that are really well against Togekiss, and also Toxicroak has a lot of play versus to uh, Togekiss with the Sludge Bomb. Obstacle swap in though is not great. If it was like a Shadow Machamp or something a little a bit less bulky uh, than uh, Obstacle, I can usually uh, kill it in two serves. But Obstacle is way too tanky. Uh, and my Lepris also a really good IV. If you have like a slightly higher attack Lepris, you can kill it with a with a Surf and an Ice Beam. But because mine is so good, I know that the, the Ice Beam would not have KO'd. And I just want this farm on my Toxic Croak here. So I, I didn't throw my move because, because I want more farm on my Toxie. I just farm this down. And then I'll get to a Sludge Bomb versus the, versus the Kiss. I just go straight for it. I don't want him to no shield a Mud Bomb. That'd be devastating. Hopefully he lets this go, but though he shoots, all right, fine with me. And Polyon with shield advantage is really good to serve fetch, though uh, not amazing for me. I'm hoping he shoots this move. If he shoots this move, I'm just gonna let go, let his next move go, and then Toxicroak and farm down Sludge Bomb the Tokis and win the game. Uh, but I think my opponent here, yeah, very smart no shield, decides to no shield. Charmer is such an oppressive move. Uh, that even though it's resisted, I won't be able to get to two charge moves right here. I'm sure gonna try though. I have to try. Uh, my Toxic Shock is way too low HP to uh, to get to a, a Sludge Bomb. Uh, well, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I get to the I get to the Hydra right here. And at this point, I really want to swap to my Toxic Croak. I do. Can I get to the Mud Bomb? Mud Bomb might be enough. Oh, I don't reach it. Barry reaches the move. If I had baited with Mud Bomb earlier. I might have been able to mud bomb right there for the kill. Yeah, look at that. He was at like 5 HP. That would have been enough. All right, King Riley. Pretty tough lead. Uh, especially if like, he gets Octazuka debuff. Like, uh, if you're King Riley in this situation, you just go straight Octazuka. Uh, because Toxtrox is quite squishy and it can't take one anyway. I tried to... Uh, like, he let it go. So I knew we would fire the Octazuka immediately. I tried to swap into my Empoleon to tank it. Uh, but... Didn't let me because I was just a bit too late. That's all right. Uh, brings in the Skarmory. I could have thrown my Mud Bomb right here, but I, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't. Uh, it's fine though. Uh, I got uh, Empoleon for a Skarm, but he brings in Ampharos. Uh, not great. Again, Ampharos uh, is not very nice for my backline. Two waters uh, versus Ampharos. Uh, these are two very bulky water types though, especially Lepris is very bulky. Waterfall from Empoleon also does a big chunk. Uh, so I think I can, uh, I can probably take uh, this Ampharos out with my uh, with my Lepris and Apollyon. And Apollyon has a very dominating matchup versus Skarmory. So I should be able to take it out, uh, maybe. Uh, we'll see. At this point, uh, even if it's a Focus Blast, I can uh, I can uh, Waterfall this down with Apollyon. It is a Focus Blast and it kills me. I Waterfall down the Ampharos. Luckily, he doesn't get to another charge move at this point. I just need to hit uh, a bunch of Waterfalls and then two Hydro Cannons to, uh, to take the win right here. But the Skarmory might get to a couple more moves. We'll see. Skarmory is very, very tanky. It will be able to tank one of his Hydro Cannons, even from the range he's at. It does like 40, 40 ish percent. Pretty sure. We'll see. Does this KO? I think he might survive in the red. 
And I'm also in sky attack range, so... Oh, no, he dies. Oh, no, he survived at 1 HP. Oh, no, luckily he didn't have two sky attacks. Ooh, that's devastating. All right, really good lead. Uh, Toxtroke into Obstagoon, but he swaps in Venusaur, which is... This is really, really tough for me. I kind of need my Toxtroke on both the Obstagoon and the Venusaur. That's kind of a flaw with this line. Uh, like, the combination of, of grass and fighting is kind of tough to deal with. Uh, because uh, both my mons in my backline lose, uh, generally lose to grass and fighting, especially to Obstagoon, uh, because Apollyon can still hit super effective damage on something like Machamp or Toxicroak, uh, but it only, can only do neutral damage on uh, Obstagoon, which is tough. So at this point, I need to keep my Toxicroak alive for the for the Obstagoon. I still have enough health to like do a bunch of damage. He has Gengar though, and I make a mistake right there. Uh, if I see Gengar, I should just swap in Empoleon when I'm a shield up. Because shields down, Empoleon doesn't do that well versus Gengar. Uh, but Lapras can, uh, is a bit more bulky, so he can tank those charge moves from Gengar a little better. This is still alright though. I'll bring the Gengar or the Obstagoon down very, uh, very low. I'm trying to get to the Ice Beam right here. Frost shops me though. Do I get there? No, I die. Uh, I don't know why. I should have gotten my serve off right there. Uh, but that's all right. I decide to shoot this. I think that's another mistake because yeah, I can I can get to the mud bomb right here. I can get to the mud bomb right here, but a shadow ball from Gengar would KO me. Might have been better if I would just farm down the Obstagoon. But uh, when I was playing this game, um, this was one of my first games, and I didn't realize Shadow Ball would do this much. I thought Empoleon would be able to win the, get to a Hydro Cannon at least, but I didn't. Gengar is just too strong. A very good game to my opponent. Uh, like, I was... He was definitely not supposed to win that matchup with the lineup he had, but he played very well, manages er energy very nicely, so GG. All right, Obama Snow into Alolan Raichu. This seems like a very familiar line. I, I've, I've ran Obama Snow into Alolan Raichu as well, and uh, I really like this combination, but Alolan Raichu is so tough for my line. Uh, beats... Uh, all three of my mons basically, uh, but because I have a slight energy advantage on Toxicroak, I should be able to uh, to get to the third Mud Bomb before its third Wild Charge uh, and take it out. I still have uh, Lepros and Empoleon uh, for the Abomus Snow, though they're not they're not counters to Abomus Snow, but uh, they do a lot of a uh, lot of damage uh, to it, especially Empoleon. Uh, takes neutral only from the energy ball and double resistance from the rest of the moves and can hit for super effective damage with a drill pack. Brings in the Ampharos, double electric. I like it. Very similar to a line I've been running in Bomb Snow Golf Angela, uh, Alona Raichu. But man, this, this line is pretty tough for my team. I bring in Empoleon right here. Um, maybe I should have brought in Lepros because I'm pretty sure Lepros can survive this focus blast. And also, Napoleon's matchup versus Obama Snow is just a tad, just a tad better. But, uh, I mean, I, I did it, and now we're just gonna have to live with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to tank this energy ball. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna have to throw another one, and I get to an Ice Beam and a Surf before he gets to two energy balls. I'm just hoping uh, that once I throw the Surf, I uh, my switch timer is up. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to start the switch clock right here, basically. I know I'm not going to get to an ice cream. I'm trying to start the switch clock and then counter down the Abomb Snow right there. As the bombs uh, Frost comes in, if he doesn't have a move, I win the game. And he doesn't, so I take out uh, M Frost with the Ice Shard. That was the final game right here. We're just going to head into some live battles I did on my stream. Uh, like half a week ago with this team was the first set I did and well I actually I went very well that set We had some tough leads and came back anyway enjoy uh, the live battles and also let me know what you prefer Do you prefer this shoutcasters battles or do you prefer uh, the, the bits for my live stream? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to see that so I know what uh, what, uh, what content I, uh, I have to uh, prioritize Anyway, have fun in the video. See you guys next time. All right, this is a bad lead. I'm gonna try to catch a Hydro. Let's swap at 6. Hydro is 5, but they usually you know, over from my 1. 3, 4, 5, 6. 8. Alright, wait. This could be an Earthquake. Luckily I shoot it. This is the mark. What's up, Ben? No, I didn't do spotlight. I uh, I caught the ones at home and then that's it. You do did, did you do uh, spotlight, Ben? How was it? 
Any, um... Did have, did, do I have a little bit of energy? It's on, uh, it's hot on, uh, Chukumo. Oh, nice, I get there. You got a rank 23 frost last? That's really good. Yeah, I didn't... I, I didn't really need it. If this was his best Empoleon answer, Leprous is gonna sweep. Oh, it seemed like I stood still there for a second. That's weird. Why am I not on the leaderboards? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't, but I, I, I think, I think I'm. I don't know. I was. I think they took my rating at like 2,700 yesterday. But I, I dropped a bunch, so I'm not there anymore. Maybe this was a mistake. Oh man! Did he really just swap in his Alolan Sand Slash? Well, rip to you. One. Two, three, four, six. Um, it's seven. Th this, this is like Baldos is sixty. He's not at sixty yet. Nadequins, what's up? That's spicy. That's spicy. I respect that a lot. Yeah, I am running this. Yeah, Ice Punch should do a bunch. Did anyone see the CP of that uh, Sand Slash? Was it an Excel? Oh, no shield. I can just farm down. How hyped am I for the first animal <laughs> for Pega Awards? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I probably. Alright, this is where I want to see that Cavalier. Five. Maybe we can see MP Uh For this cup, for Holiday Cup, I don't think it's worth the investment. But if you want to use it in Great League, definitely go ahead. It's really good in Great League. Shield this move. Counter. I should have maybe. I should have definitely my, my bomb there. Hmm. Does this thing have earthquake? Hopefully not. He does. Fine. I am okay with that. I get there anyway. Marco, what's up? What's up? Wow. Shield. Uh, I mean, this is for sure Earthquake. Did over farm. This is like two counters. Unless he farmed up to 100. I don't think he's at 100 yet. I should be able to farm down with this. Alright. He was at 100. <laughs> good good energy management. Whoa, I can just farm this down, my man. Oh, wow. He, this is why I'm running Toxic Rogue lead. People, people are not prepared for the Toxic lead. Like... I've, I've seen so many teams the past couple days that are just so weak to Toxy lead. Good lead? Yeah, Guido. Good player. Is this guy Dutch, Inadequence? I don't know. Oh, he denied my move. My counter. It's like pretty big. He dodged you four times. <laughs> Because he doesn't like Chandler. Wow. I'll get out of here. Oh, let it go. Does he have? I'll keep my Toxicroak alive. Oh, I shouldn't have. 
Wow. Uh. Farm him down, all right. <laughs> what is this team? This is a cool team, though. Oh, wait, this is uh, Doombug's old team. Oh, yeah, he gets destroyed by Chandler. Wait, he actually dodged you? Man. Man. Right. Well, GG. This, I, I like this line though. This is a cool line. I, I know Junebug ran this um, couple se like last season or the season before that. Wasn't Doombug? I think he ran it with Ferrothorn as well. Uh, I saw it in a I saw it in uh, in King's video. I saw it in, in King's video, uh, and uh, he was running a uh, bomb of snow back then. Oh yeah, level 50 Ferrothorn. I've been wanting a Ferrothorn for forever, but I, I didn't have a... Uh, didn't have a hundo, but now you don't need a hundo. Now you just need a lot of Excel. <laughs> Which is... Uh, probably hard. Alright, this is a horrible lead. I think I swapped to Empoleon. Right, he kind of has to shoot here. Melton, but not Chinese. I think it should be an option. I think it should be an option. The option to turn on, like, mass transferring Chinese. Yeah, you can't farm down. I can farm down as Eska. Uh, uh, and I only have to use one shield. And then I can mud bomb the Gengar. Should be able to farm down. Gonna be a close one. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be a close farm down. Oh, but we got it. Can I? Maybe I just kill this Gengar with my Toxie. Yeah, I can probably just kill this Gengar with my Toxic Rogue. It should only be a punch, which is fine. I can tank a punch. Yeah, I know it doesn't kill, but it will do enough to where my Lepris can Ice Shard down pretty safely. Alright, Napoleon. Alright, I don't have Skull Bash on this Lapras, uh, which helps in this matchup, uh, but I'm still fine here. With a shield up, I should be able to win this, right? We'll see. I'll just shield the first move. Save shield for Toxie. Uh, I could have. I could have. I, I, I like this play. Maybe I should have just saved shield for Toxie. It would have been safer. Catch a move also works. Alright, I should have seen P tied here. Kill the Empoleon, Ice Shard down the Gengar. The Gengar. Nice, GG. Oh, that's why I really like Toxic Rogue. 
That mud bomb pressure is quite nice on Gengar. Right, I'll swap. The bad lead. And for us. Are we lagging? Oh no, he just. Well, it was kind of lag, but I think he got his moves in anyway. He shields. That's what we like to see. Let it go. A farm down with Toxic Croak. Uh, maybe I have to shoot one of his thunder, thunder Punches, but it's alright. No shoot this one. It's been a while since I to used Toxic Croak. I don't know how much these do. Yeah, with the Volt Switch, I'm probably gonna have to shoot the next one. Yep, yeah, I'll shoot the next one. I can counter down. And uh, slash from the Gyarados. Yeah, I made the Ludicolo more expensive. It was becoming too common. It's supposed to be a a special thing, you know. And it, well, it wasn't. It wasn't special anymore. All right, there needs to be something in the back that Lepers can handle. You already lured out one counter, but I think it's unlikely. Never mind. <laughs> it's a 5 0. I think. Just double ice beam. I think this, this was the final game. Nice. GG. This team is OP. This team is OP. Yeah, 5-0!